Our world is full of coordinated systems, but perhaps the most amazing coordinated systems of all are living organisms themselves. In this unit, we're going to look at the human body as an example of a, of a coordinated system, and we'll be specifically looking at several systems within the body that do the coordinating. You're already familiar with some of the systems of the body, the respiratory system, the digestive system, the cardiovascular system, and so on. Each of those systems is itself made up of many parts. Recall that organ systems are made up of individual organs, and each organ is made up of specialized tissue, and the tissue is made up of specialized cells. For instance, the excretory or urinary system, which filters and cleans our blood, contains a number of organs, one of which is the bladder. The bladder is made up of muscle tissue, and the muscle tissue is made up of individual muscle cells. But think of all those systems. How do they work together? For instance, when you're playing sport, your respiratory system has to take in more oxygen. Your cardiovascular system has to transport that oxygen faster around the body. Your digestive system decreases its activity so that more blood flow is available for your muscles. And your muscles increase their activity to allow you to move faster. How is it that all these different systems are able to work in concert? The answer is that there are two overarching control systems that coordinate the function of the other organ systems. Kind of like the way the cafe manager coordinates the different people who work in the cafe. Or like the way the national or federal government of a country has control over state or local governments. These two systems, these control systems, are the nervous system and the endocrine system. The nervous system is a bioelectrical control system and causes rapid, short-lasting changes in the body. The endocrine system is a biochemical system of hormones that spread through the blood and cause slow but long-lasting changes. With the combined action of these two control systems, our bodies are able to coordinate all the processes that keep us alive, as well as detecting and responding and adapting to the outside world.